Research. We have Ken O'Keefe, former U.S. Marine, who joins us in the studios here in the Capitol today. And Rodney Martin, who's a former U.S. congressional staffer, who joins us from L.A., Los Angeles. Thank you, gentlemen. Ken O'Keefe, I'll start with you. Uh, this should, I would think, uh, be a warning signal to some of the countries supporting the terrorists in the war in Syria, in particular the U.S., Turkey, and Saudi Arabia. Yes, well, I hope actually that it's even more of a wake-up call for us to realize that we are ISIS, that the Western governments that are in bed with Saudi Arabia, who is the primary funder of ISIS, along with Qatar and other Gulf states, we not only provide the political cover and military assistance to Saudi Arabia while it slaughters innocent people in Yemen, but we also provide the cover for them to go ahead and do their dirty dealing with these psychopaths who are running around Syria and other parts of the world as well, Iraq. Let us remember that before the United States invaded Iraq, there was no Al-Qaeda in Iraq. Look at it today. Let us also remember that when uh, Gaddafi was in power in Libya, there was very little Al-Qaeda. And in fact, now we look at it, and it's an absolute basket case full of these operatives. And we look to Syria as well as yet another example of where these problems were actually quite under control in terms of Al-Qaeda. In fact, Bashar al-Assad was assisting the United States, this is all on record, in a very meaningful way. In fact, many of the tortures that were being carried out were being done by Bashar al-Assad, or at least his regime, in order to extract information from people that we were supposedly fighting. I believe that it is beyond any doubt for any sensible person to realize that not only is the United States providing the financial cover, military cover, political cover for these terrorists through our proxies, but we've also, in pure technical sense, provided the training for these people in Jordan and Turkey, another one of our best friends, has been shuttling these psychopaths across the country from Turkey into Syria for a long time now. So, the idea that the West is actually fighting a war against ISIS is beyond ridiculous. So what we really need to do is start realizing the fact that we are ISIS, and the reason why our corrupt, treasonous governments are carrying out these policies is because they do not represent us, they represent the bankers, and the bankers make a hell of a lot of money off of war, and more importantly, as long as we're all fighting each other, as long as we're all not trusting each other, as long as we're all simply being played as pawns over and over, then they can maintain this tyrannical system of never-ending war. So this is really the wake-up call. What has happened in Paris is us. We are responsible through our corrupt governments for all of these policies, and even if these individuals who carried this out are not directly working for Mossad, CIA, ISIS, Al-Qaeda, all the same thing, even if they did this organically of their own volition, believe me, that is exactly what our so-called governments want. That is what the policy that we've been fostering over and over. And quite frankly, if we're to look at ISIS, ISIS stands for Israeli Secret Intelligence Service. They never attack Israel, and that in itself also tells you a lot about who these individuals are.